it crashes. All right, give me a moment. Made sure everything was plugged in and everything, but who knows? It might just be you four. Might not. I guess we're going to find out. Let me just make sure everything is fine. Woof woof. Woof woof woof. Borky bork. Let me get up some um, temperature gauges just to make sure my computer isn't like overheating or something. Hang on. Well, you four loads. What could go wrong? Boop boop. I've also got my window open, so I'm going to freeze while my computer is cooling down. <laughs> Yay! Let me see if there's a way I can just find something to warm myself up. I'll be fine. Yes, we are just looking at a black screen right now because I'm waiting for EU4 to load back up and to get some t temperature things just so I can check to make sure nothing's like overheating while we s while I stream. Hang on. Where's core temp? There it is. Tell me. Tell me. Are things getting too hot for you? Looks fine at the moment. Well, you for loads. If it just crashes randomly, that's not an overheating problem. I need to check this. Well, I need to just have these open while things are happening and just dart my eyes over there right now and then just to see if it's computer overheating or if there's something else wrong. <sighs> I bet nothing is going to happen now. Like, it's just going to go fine now that I have all the precautions in place. Which actually kind of makes sense, but anyway. I've got everything out of the way that doesn't need to be in the way. I think so. U4 is loading right now. I've just noticed that the desktop audio is silenced, so you can't fucking hear it. There we go. Have some music. Why can't things just go right? Hmm? Why can't they? Somebody, tell me. Let's see if I can actually display the game now. Without things bursting into flames. Oh, hang on. Oh, that's my headphones being. Ugh. Blah blah blah. All right, there it loaded, and we're at an all right temperature. And uh, this is just after I haven't actually seen France's capital. Okay, so this is a few months back, but that's fine. We'll just get back to it, it won't be too bad. I'm just going to keep my eyes on the temperature. So I can tell if my computer's getting too hot or not. Do 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 do. Yes, you're not getting away from this one, France, are you? My relation with Liege maxed out. Nope. So I can keep the fellow there. At least until we need to piece Savoy out, which is probably not going to happen until I have their capital. Can't get to Piedmont just yet. Okay, let's just siege Savoy and Lyonne and Nabonne. Most main reason I'm going for Normandy in particular is because I need more coast, so I can have more ships, so I can expand overseas a little.
We'll see if I can give this to um, Gascony as well. If possible. If it doesn't cause a coalition so big that I will just die. Sure. If it does co cause a coalition so big that I will just die. Probably not. Yeah, I can do one of those. I can convert to Protestant. Which I almost always do as a European nation. If I was playing any nation like that has a plus papal influence thing like Castile does in here somewhere, or Spain, I can't remember which one, then I would stay Catholic. Because that much papal influence is just good. That just makes it good. You can constantly get bonuses. Right, you keep all of the relations up with the Pope. Mouse issue again. There we go. Come on, Siege Savoy. Let's see if I can just piece them. I'd rather France be allied with Savoy than anyone else, to be honest. See if I can just get money off them. I think as soon as we've taken, as soon as we've taken Savoy, we'll totally have it. Well, bloody done, Saxony. You made me panic. Fine, I'll just take it. I have free siege on this guy. It'll be faster. So we want to give this and this and this and perhaps this to Gaxcony. Actually, I just want to give them everything that they have a claim on, which is basically that. But it will do. I do need to be careful with the coalition thing. But we will be careful with the coalition thing. Did I have colonialism spawned here in this? Yes. And we've got advancement effort. Okay. And we've got one hell of a capital now. Look at all those numbers. Our mighty capital of Dijon. And not Pali. <sighs> Come on, Siege Savoy! <laughs> How hard could it be to Siege Savoy? We've been standing here for a while now. <laughs> and Provence just insulted me. You know, allied with the Emperor. That is one issue. Hmm, Austria doesn't actually that have that many good allies. There we go. Do 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 do. do. Hmm. So I do wonder if Saxony is. No, well, they've been kind of useful. Bohemia is way more useful. Oh, hang on. I'm still guaranteeing the Palatinate. Yeah, we don't need to do that anymore. Sex. I mean, Savoy. Savoy, I just want peace. Muscovy. <laughs> no, because my luck is awful. Okay, and we have 99% against France, so boop boop boop. 
Wait, why is that causing costing diplo points? They have claims. They have free claims on them. Why is it cost? Right, hang on, mate. Chatreco con. Uh, Contati? England joining in is. pain. Too many. <laughs> Uh, uh, England, could you just fuck off? <laughs> oh no, I'm definitely not going that far. <laughs> I'm wondering if there are any nations I want to release, but at the same time, I barely have any diplo points as it is. I can release Toulouse. It does make France smaller. But at the same time, I have so many. I have so few Diplo points right now, it probably isn't worth it. Okay, I'll just get Humiliate, War Reps, Money. Actually, I don't really need to Humiliate them, I'm taking Provinces off them. I'm almost tempted to take these four. Eh, England's probably busy with all the Roses anyway. And we need some more Coast. Nice. And I can become a kingdom! Magnificent. We don't quite have enough admin points to call all of this, but oh well. Austria no longer valid rival. However, they are a valid target of conquest. And as England continues to not want to be my friend, I guess I'll just rival them back. With enough diplo points, I could probably just release as much of stuff as I can from France in the next war. But I kind of need them at the moment because we're a bit behind on technology. Let's see how much money I can save and get some really good advisors. Eleven point three. Hang on. Yeah, we'll get you. Could also convert to Protestant to deal with this. More tax, more improved relations. Nuke my prestige, but gain a load of money. Sure. Why not? <laughs> oh, religious turmoil. That's right. That's why not. If those centres of reformation, wherever they might be, could just convert me, that would be lovely. Why are there only two? I said there could be only three. Where's the third one? There's one here. There's one over here. I don't see where the third one is, though. Is it hiding somewhere? Uh, who knows. Increase religious unity as fast as we can. Case subjects isn't going to happen until Gascony is annexed, isn't it? But the Centers of Reformation are actually going to help me. Oh, somehow two of them. Where's that third one? <laughs> Is it just somewhere really obscure or something? I don't know. I can't see it. Maybe it got converted, I don't know.
Convert them. Convert me. Need to convert Dijon. Wherever that is in this list. Dijon A. Where's Dijon A? There's Dijon A. I think that's making up the biggest of our religious unity, so I'll convert that. It'll cost money, but it's money well spent. Anyway, that Truce of Austria, when does it end? July 1515. Okay. Might as well keep investing in more money for later. Yeah, I still have economic ideas that need to be filled. Yep, convert Dijon now. Just to get my religious unity up. Before that disaster pops, which it very well might. Which I'm not at all concerned with, but uh, it should be okay. If we get up to 50, it shouldn't be too hard if the sense of information actually, you know, help. No, I shouldn't have to worry about it. About the highest religious unity problems first, like Paris and Charolais. Took me a moment. I was just looking at it, like, how do I pronounce this? Oh, and yes, since I've actually embraced this in the edict. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Ooh, more admin points. I approve. I can make Normandy a state, which I will. And yeah, we'll call it as well because more money. I do need to thoroughly convert the place though. And that might have actually just down my religious unity even further, so maybe I shouldn't have done that just yet. <laughs> Oh, the other general is dead. Sad times. Sad times. Oh yeah, diplo support. We need that. And military support too. I need that too. Some combatters. Because why not? Do, 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 do. It should be fine. See? Have a problem? It's just Protestant immediately. Centers of Reformation, could you help me? <laughs> Please? <laughs> I need to convert. I wish to convert to your glorious religion. I wish to help to spread the true word of the Lord and Saviour. Please. And I also want more trade power in the English Channel. And I also need to probably start integrating these three after Ca Gascony is done. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> what the fuck happened to you, Yellow? <laughs> I just looked over and they're suddenly tiny. Do we have cores like all over here? Yes. You seem to have lost them. How did that happen? Center of Reformation refused to help me. Please. Why are you converting them? Convert me! <laughs> I'm a great power who wants to be Protestant. Convert me! <laughs> I fell for a magic cask and he ended. Charlie. I just want to convert things that are causing the most religious unity issues. So that we don't break into break into a religious war. Which I think we can all agree just would not be a brilliant thing. Sex of Allenberg is dying, but it's so sick the um, province is really not worth it. That's all they have. And Saxony is starting to fall apart. If I get a union over them, I will happily get them their land back. Okay, I still have a choose of your Austria. Neither the centers of information are actually going to help me, are they? They just don't care. It's like, oh, you want to be Protestant too? Well, fuck off. Enjoy your religious disaster. The House of Middleton ends War of the Roses. Okay. Artois. I don't think I'm be going to be able to do this fast enough. I think I'm going to run out of time. Unless one of the centers of reformation saves me. Or I get an event that just insta converts one of my provinces. In that case, let's just put army maintenance up. Mm, I don't think one percent is gonna speed this up enough. Some French separatists in Chartres, but whatever. Where's Chartres? Oh, yeah, I just took it. Yeah, it should be fine. <laughs> what won't be fine is if I don't have my forts activated when the religious rebels spawn, which they almost certainly are going to do. So I don't think I can convert this stuff fast enough. 
you know, unless one of these centers of reformation wants to help, which it doesn't look like they do. They do have an extra diplomat now, actually. What is diplomatic inside to give me? Or revocation, military reparation, acquisition, defeat. Eh. Converted Artois. It's not going to be enough. I don't even think converting one more province is going to be enough. Nope. Even with the. 2% missionary strength advisor, I don't think I'm just going to be able to do it enough. Well, darn. Darn, 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 darn. French Septus and Charte. Yeah, we're going to get religious turmoil and I can't stop it. And France just got the reformed Centre of Reformation, which is, which of course is the one that starts converting me. All right, bring on the disaster. In three, four months. Oh, Norman Septists as well. Oh, well, how wonderful. And here it comes. <laughs> I can't stop it. Yeah, let's go for a tolerant society until we've got this shit under control. Need to have religious unity of at least ninety percent. No own province um, does not have any. Um, oh well, this is gonna take a while. Oh well. converted one of my provinces to reformed. How useful. Protestant centers of reformation. What? Please help me. Oh, that's just Roskia ended. Let me just get that claim on St. Gowan and I'll see if I can... Interesting, Castile. Interesting. What are you after? It's like Conquest is a castle spell. <laughs> Sorry? Nabonne. Oh, it's one of Aragorn's cl claims. Alright, well, Castile's making this difficult then, aren't they? Let me lower some forts, because we don't really need all of them up now. Just the ones, like, away from the rebels. The one in Caen can stay up, and the one in Chartres. Just save a bit more money this way.
really don't want this Royal Marriage of Milan anymore, but so much stability. Why does Castile hate me all of a sudden? Broke Alliance, Rejected Alliance. They desire some of our provinces, and they desire some of my subjects' provinces. Wonderful. Anyway, Gascony is about to be annexed. Say, why is the unrest so high here? <laughs> Missionary. Is probably going to be has had religious turmoil for 25 years. <laughs> That's probably going to be what's it, what ends it. Getting all the other things together is not going to be an easy thing to do. have been dealt with. No more rising up for them. Now hopefully the French separatists won't rise up because I'll have converted them before they do. Prestige! Lovely. I need technology. I know. Yep, they're coming down. These centers of reformation are not being helpful in any way, shape, or form. I have to claim some more France. Check my coalition map. It's mostly on France and England, and literally everybody else. <laughs> just, just looked out and noticed the color was different. It's just like, oh well, thick. Clone is da 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 da, okay. Yeah, maybe I should have taken this so Castile couldn't. Oh well. Oh well. I can always take it back. <sighs> we don't actually need to take certain provinces, we just need France as a vassal. Or a subject. I wasn't completely specific on what kind of subject. Tiny bit of income from the bourgeoisie. You finally managed to cut the heretics of Hainau. Hainau? Hainau? Whatever. Keep converting. Now, Arawa. Castile is announcing as their rival. 
Why didn't I make Castile my rival? Why didn't I do it? I should have just done it, but I didn't. Oh, Provence. Got one of their, la bit of their land back. How nice for you, Provence. Oh, as did Brittany. Oh, they also got Dauphine back. Hmm. There's less and less France. Every war. This time it wasn't even me! Oh yeah, Brittany's in my sight now. There's some land that can be claimed. There's also a bit of Provence that can be claimed, or vassaled. But at the same time, I've kind of got enough diplomatic relations as it is, but we're about to lose one of them. I'm starting to wonder if keeping Saxony around is actually going to be useful. Probably not. I'll just keep them there for now, though. Oh, Provence is no longer in a trade league because of that. Excellent. Get those conversions going. Almost there. I've almost got Gascony annexed entirely. I can add their army to my own. Yeah, we do need to catch up with technology, don't we? And then probably pick a diplomatic idea of some kind. Um, more money, I think, at the moment is the best idea. Won't be too much more money, but it will be something. Why did it go down? <laughs> I didn't even Alex Gascony yet. Why did it go down? <laughs> Where are they unrestful again? I thought I already killed them. Oh yeah, my men were actually standing on the province. That's why they were calm. More lovely, claimable land. Fuck you, Castile! Come down though, fuck you over myself if you didn't have, like, a million allies. Great name placement. Anyway. <laughs> mm, I think my forces might need to be rejigged a bit. Did I state these? I stated one of them. Good job to me.
Oh boy, my religious unity just dropped again. Because I integrated Gascony. At least the centre of the Reformation. Nope, that's the Reformed one. For fuck's sake. Never mind. Hello, Peak. How are you? Uh, split. Tired, how are you? I'm okay. My computer did just decide to randomly blue screen again, but other than that, fine. And you know, France is being guaranteed by Castile, but... Uh, I'll figure something out. Oh yeah, Austria. My friends. My friends, I might totally be able to just be like... Vassal. Hmm. And they do have some cores. Still. Yeah, let's go vassal them. Even though I need to start thinking about integrating these fellows up here. Turn them off now. Hmm. If I call Bohemia in, they're probably going to want stuff which I don't want them to have. I'm sure I can handle it myself. Let's see. Alsace, Augsburg, Memmingen, Milan. There really aren't many threatening things there. Go, men. Milan is probably the biggest problem, but I can take care of it. Right, let's see. Nope, not quite. Okay. I have what can only be described as a dumb idea. <laughs> Call Bohemia in and give them Austria. <laughs> give them Austria, give me some go and then release Austria. <laughs> well, I don't know if that'll work. And Austria's the only one that has a core there, so it probably would. Then dissolve my alliance with Bohemia and just take Austria back off them. Later on. It's brilliant. Yay, they're converting my provinces to reformed. Like, the Protestant sense of reformation just weren't helping. The reformed sense of reformation were like, now's our chance. Anyway, Nimmingen, I'm not after you. So please proceed to get the hell out. Uh, I don't have that money.
Now we wait for the very slow sieging of Augsburg. Oh, that seems Alsace and Augsburg have actually just flanked me. Oh well. Why is Tyrol a weird colour? Because I released Tyrol <laughs> earlier to shrink Austria a bit. So that I can vassal them. That's the plan, because I need to vassal them for that achievement. Make your reform centres of reformation, doing what the Protestant ones just refuse to for some reason. Oh, that is a nice air. I like that. Charles de Bourgogne. Swear I will abdicate to him the second I get the chance. Technology first. Alright, Alsace. You. Can I fold religion? Yes, I can. But no. Uh, trade power. There we go. Probably won't actually need to do all of that, so. Yep. There. There. Augsburg. Super peace. Money. 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 Oh, hello, Austrians. The Burgundian conquest. I need to have. Austria and France's vassals and the entire Low Countries region. As provinces, I should think. So, out of curiosity. Oh, yeah, Milan. I completely forgot about Milan. How is that going so far? Quite well. I've shrank France in order to make them vassalizable, and I might be able to vassalize Austria right now. Maybe. I've got a crafty plan which might or might not work. Probably won't work, but it's worth a try. Now if these centers of reformation could, you know, you, these ones could help me and this one not would be nice, but apparently that's not how things are going. I called you in and promised you land, Bohemia. What the fuck? <laughs> what do you want? Apparently you do want that. What are you on about? You want this one? Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> Explain. <laughs> They're going to be upset because I can't... I literally can't give them land. Not as I care that much, but... Hmm. I mean, in theory, if whoever declared in Austria that was Styria, I think, hits them hard enough, I can just release them. <laughs> if they annex them. Why must you make these things complicated for me? Bohemia. Bohemia, what the fuck? <laughs> hmm. I guess Bohemia's not being our ally much longer then. Nah, we don't want it. 
Well, I can't apparently force vassalize them yet. Hmm. If I take Sundgal. Look, my plan is to take Sundgal. Hope that Styria just wrecks them. Or maybe not take Sundgal. Hope Styria wrecks them and then declare war on them again to vassal them. Hmm. Is there anything I can think of? More prestige. Um. Nah. We can get Austria later. And Bohemia. <laughs> Just feck off. Oh, bloody hell. Uh, Aquitaine. That's going to take a while. I could s always just inherit them. If I add more Diplo rep. And more stability. What about Flonder? That's more likely because they're so small. Although that is only like one diplo power per whatever. It's not too bad. Yeah, it's time to grating. Yay, more reformed provinces. Just what I wanted. Okay, so I'm gonna have to do a Castile sooner or later. Relay rival to nobody, that's gonna help me. Oh, that's gonna be fun. I do have claims in Provence. Yeah, Styria, if you could just rip Austria to pieces, that'd be nice. I'm not going to risk it. <laughs> Don't worry, ruler just suddenly becoming the wrong religion. Conquer new states fulfilled. Meh. Okay, it's going to be diplomatic something. Pro possibly expiration. Could be one. It's either that or diplomatic or influence. Let's see. Kind of okay and good, good ish. Or meh and meh. <laughs> oh, the policies aren't that great, I'm gonna say that. Expansion opportunities are a little bit limited right now. Yeah, let's just go overseas. Why not? Hmm. I wonder. Yeah, I could just take bar. While we wait for stuff to happen. 
Although I like the tree, yeah. Turn around. <laughs> Woods and a river. But I think we are okay. Yeah, we're plenty fine. Down they go. We could also vassalize Provence. We actually have some good cores dotted around. Provence, Fourquel, what's this place? And Avignon. cost down. Filet has been converted. Marvellous. Sure, let's convert to lose one of the larger provinces. But yes, if I were to go out for Vons and say a vassal. Well, the coalition just gets a little bit bigger. And it costs 150 diplo points, so mm, maybe not. Just bar, bar. I take Mets too. Oh no, no, no! Let's not take Mets. <laughs> that was a coalition, a very, very big coalition. Just like nope, 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 nope. Undo. Don't. Nope. Don't do it. <laughs> yeah, let's not take Mets. Take you Mets would be silly. Austria is still fairly large. Stereo, you're supposed to take most of them, not a bit of them. going to be annoying, aren't you, Castile? Because you're still guaranteeing France, aren't you? Yep, they are. They're probably going to accept it. Yes, they are. And they still have Aragon and Naples. So, that's a lot of men. A lot more than I have. Oh yeah, Trier. I'll just wait until when um, Flandre is finished with them. And then I can choose them for full religious conversion. Trier's already f converted, so I don't need to do it to them. There. Bar is ours. And it's Burgundian. How great is that? So Castile has a lot of men. Okay. Good to know. Guess we will be just kind of minding our own business for a while then. And perhaps getting some claims on Brittany. <sighs> if I need people to help me kill Castile, it's not going to be easy. Because I've killed most of the people that you would usually get to help you. <laughs> France is basically dead, so that's not going to happen. I guess I could become the France. The AI and its guarantees are really bloody annoying, to say the least. Austria? No. 
Uh, oh, Bohemia got coalitioned. Right then, works for me. We do want ideas, kind of, right now. So... Uh, I guess... Let's just... Joe, that'll be fine. Drill away. Increase that army professionalism, get claims on Brittany, maybe attack Brittany. Realise that the Bretons, I think, have. Yep, hostile core creation on us, plus 25%. Lovely. We just gained 100 admin power out of nowhere. Lovely. Is that really just turmoil thing? I don't think that's going away anytime soon. That's going to stick there for a while, isn't it? At least until 25 years have passed since it started. Peace. We're not integrating Holland at all. So I think my Diplo rep has dropped too low. Yes, it has. Re. <laughs> Feck off Castile. I need France. Why do you deny me? Where did that Austria vassal go? Um, couldn't do it. Bohemia just refused to let me give them anything, so... Yay. I really need to see if I can get anyone in an alliance. Anyone fairly large in an alliance. Venice, maybe. Surprisingly, the Papal State. Tunisia, surprisingly. Tunisia is pretty big, too. Big, but probably not, like, rich. That is the problem. Yeah, the Pope has more men than they do. The Papal State helped me against Castile. That's my question. What's their opinion of France? Quite good. France, who hates you? <laughs> Provence, Savoy, Austria, Trier, England, England hates me too. Savoy surprisingly doesn't actually hate me that much. All things that have happened. That's a little, that's a little bit odd. Yes, claims on Brittany. Who are you fighting now, Castile? Castile's gonna be a problem, aren't they? <laughs> a big problem. Like, they're just gonna accept call to arms, they're just gonna be a pain. I need to improve relations with Brabant. Ah. <sighs> Alright, hang on. That's better. Just needed to close the window. I'm willing to ally the Pope if they will help me, which they 
likely wouldn't. That's the only problem, they likely aren't going to do it. So maybe I just shouldn't. No, I'll leave it. Keep getting cleaned on Brittany. Sesame comes in Leipzig against Verdun. Sure. Okay. Go, vassals, go. Damn, why is this the Saxon? We got some of Leipzig against Verdun. Oh, that's Verdun. Okay. How much is it France? And there's not much I can really fucking do about it right now. Isn't that right, Castile? <laughs> yep, they're still gonna accept it because they hate me. The cunt. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, need to stop. Why must you be a pain in my ass all of the time, Spain? I'm kind of hoping Bohemia loses this war quite badly. <laughs> Brandenburg seeking that? Yes, they are. Okay. Release me. There we go. Austria's still Catholic. I might be able to vassal them now. Might be wrong. Let's have a look. Truce. 1532. Okay. I actually don't really need my forts up, do I? The war is far away. Should be okay. Uh, yeah. Let's go see what's going on elsewhere in the in the world. Some caravels ready. You're going to stop guaranteeing the independence of France anytime soon, Castile.
sneeze again. Hey. So I see control of all this to Saxony. Oh god. I can actually get a claim on Gellera. They are allied to Denmark, who still has that union over Sweden. Might make it a little bit more difficult. And they have cause that I can get back. That's the thing. That would make getting a bit more of the low countries just a teeny bit easier. Force vassalize Gellera. And then we can get their cause. Basically, nothing. And reduce my inflation because of all of that money I've been taking. <laughs> We've been taking a lot of money. attack France but I don't think I can attack them because steal Aragon Naples. <laughs> That's just way too many men. I would get wrecked. Hmm. <sighs> England still hates me too, so yay. Alright, well I could do a direct war on Castile, if I can find someone who hates them just as much as I do. Morocco and Tunis could be good ones. Five of them want to be my friends, that is. Um, Portugal is looking a bit... having conquered it anyway. And I take it the Pope will like them. So that's not going to help, is it? What's your opinion of Castile, the Papal State? Why do I suspect it's quite high? It's very high. Ugh. Alright, well. This is going to be a pain, isn't it? I've got 5% more discipline now. That's always nice to have. I always will eventually be a way around to not having to fight Castile. France isn't allying anyone, so... It's going to take a while. Maybe we'll end up at War of the Ottomans and I can just sneak in there. In the meantime, the Britons are looking rather conquerable right now. I 
and they are allied to the Papal State, which is a slight problem, but oh well. Grant them a new world charter just for when I can get there. Brittany! I want your land. Oh, they didn't have that fort and active. Okay, excellent. We don't have Anju active either. Hang on. No, I'm not going to make it quick enough. Because it's. Oh well. Go there anyway, so I'm not really going to have anyone there. They're trying to seize my capital. Can't just let them do that. Uh, yeah, the coast of the American East Coast. Go right ahead. Oh, that's all we can see, and England's already there. Wonderful. I think this battle should go well with my vassal's help. I do start with a lot more morale than they do. Excellent. Fucking excellent. Okay, okay. Of course we do need to deal with the Papal State as well. Yeah, that should be okay. I don't think I'll be able to take all of it, because that would probably... Not as bad as I thought. To be honest, having that entire state and all of its trading centers would not be a bad thing. provinces that are worth developing with some of the spare military power I have. Let's 
money do I think I can get off the poop? Not actually that much, apparently. Oh well. It's still a decent amount. I'm guessing Bohemia lost that punit of war quite badly. Okay. Oh, what's going on? Siege Dobino. That's what's going on. Right, Pete. Full state. Yeah. Not willing to just give me money right now. Not willing to give me anything right now. All I'm asking for is a bit of money. Probably quite a lot of their money, but just a bit. Just a little bit of your money, Papal State. Is that really that much? <laughs> Just over that sweet indulgence gold. Exactly. <laughs> nope, still not willing to give it up. Oh, my king is now strict. Does that actually maybe outmatch the Castilians enough? I have the highest morale. Castile is quite close behind. Hmm. Curse you and your morale ideas. <laughs> I would be heavily outnumbered, that's the only problem if I tried to take on Castile. I would be so outnumbered. Without allies. <laughs> or a fuck ton of mercenaries. So maybe we'll wait a bit. Just a bit. I've also got a Gellera to force vessel. They do have some nice shiny cores around the area. I just realised that they hadn't moved in a while. <laughs> I don't know if it's because my port's blockaded, but they're just sitting there. Could you come back? No? Cancel? 
Um. Guys. The game is not paused. Okay, my exploring fleet is stuck. For some reason. They just don't want to move. Unrest. It's fine. People stay. Guess we're gonna need to take Avenue, aren't we? Is this missionary thing even worth the money? I don't think it is anymore. I'm not even sure we're converting. We'll get this one in and then I'll just there. Worship what you want after that. Apparently I stack like the Papal State Army somewhere. <laughs> Thing is I can actually take all this without too many issues. Other than the massive amount of admin points it will take to call all of it. Force Anju into the right religion. Yeah, sure. They do get all of their trade power, that's the thing. Look at all that. And if I can get control on the Ivory Coast... All of that trade power goes straight to Bordeaux. Which I think you'll find will be quite beneficial to us. Saxony what? Fine. Send in the vassals. You're already winning by miles. You didn't really need to call me in at this point. Go, my vassals. Go and help Saxony just finish them off, I guess. Can I even get over there? Saxony, I can't even get over there. I guess we'll just be over here. Oh, he came back. Or did he? I'm so confused. Anyway, <laughs> explore. Yeah, go. Carabin Sea. Go. There we go. Okay. He's off. Oh, France is no longer being guaranteed. <laughs> Now's my chance. <laughs> Just immediately on it. Like, my god. My god, let's just make the coalition even worse, shall we? <laughs> Hello, France. We're back. Probably not going to be able to make them a vassal yet, but we're back! It's worth having a look. Nope. We weren't close, but no. It could just be like bloop, bloop, bloop. Shrink them shrink down a bit. Take Alien Kion. 174 admin power. What could go wrong? Make the coalition against me even worse. Reduce France to four provinces, and then I can vassal them afterwards. It's perfect. Or I could, you know, not do that and just be like, hey, can we have all this? Okay, maybe we should just release them. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, just release everyone. It'll be fine.
No need to rush things. Even though we already currently are struggling with admin points. Thank you, Saxony. You really didn't have to call me in, but you do you. Oh, Austria gained back some of that land. <laughs> Making Austria a subject is going to be a bit of a pain, isn't it? So I've got a few guys go through them, I'm going to be upset. Okay. Who's France I like to? Desmond, who is an Irish nation over there. Okay. Bogor occupied Torain. So these nations I'm releasing, do they have cores anywhere? <laughs> I don't think they do, do they? Except in the provinces I'm releasing them from. Basically, you're going to be Burgundy and the Vassal Swarm. Oh, I can't quite reach Africa yet. Can I reach South America? Somehow, it's easier to reach South America. What? Okay, because I'm going to need more exploration ideas, aren't I? Hungary is having financial or diplomatic problems. Has sold one of its provinces to Austria. Stop making Austria bigger. <laughs> I need to vessel them. Again, though, we can do that later and just focus on France at the moment. Oh yeah, technology. That's a thing. Uh, Alright, well, I guess my... Technology is going to be even further behind, isn't it? Time to develop some provinces with more manpower. Because I already have the right tech for military. Anyway, France. Give me all of this and all of your money. You're going to hate me even more, but oh well. Don't you wait, don't give me your money. Revoke cause in me. Because I am going to have to vassalize them later. So would Orleans, uh, Alvinia and Berry accept vassalization? They bloody well will. Okay. Two of them will. Berry won't, for whatever reason. I mean, Orleans won't. Berry will. Christ, this guy's got a fucking long name. Charles Philippe the First de la Tour du Pie. Anyway, uh, I'll start getting uh, these two as part of. A uh, glorious new kingdom of Burgundy. We're just starting to get into colonialism a bit. Well, I can't quite reach this. Quite yellow. Hmm, that might be one way to do it. And they do have a trade center there. Uh, hang on. One at a time. Let's make sure Alvin Yard doesn't die to those little... Those cheeky buggers near them. Make sure they don't go trying to kill them. And send someone else down to Yolof. And be like... Nope, not close enough. Okay. It just didn't want to tell me. Alvin Yard. I can't ally them yet because my opinion of them is not good enough. 
Alvin, yeah? I just want I just want to integrate you in. To this mighty kingdom we have created. Same with you, Barry. And Orleans, if you are willing, I will happily accept you too. But you don't seem to be very willing right now because you're still Catholic. I could always just feed them to Berry. Two more vassals to feed provinces. Don't mind if I do. Does that mean my choice of Austria just ended? Yes, but they're still not small enough. How can I make them smaller? <laughs> I don't know if I can make them smaller other than just wait for them to die. Thirty thousand Breton separatists. Lads, get over there. Berries allied, quick claim guarantee. Offer military access. Offer military access. Two new vassals to add to the vassal swarm. <laughs> I love me a vassal swarm. Send a gift. And influence nation. And then we have Alvanya. And then we can get Berry like in a bit. In fact, I can pull that guy back and send him to improve relations with Berry. One, they don't have any claims. Let's see if I can get them to make some claims on. I've already basically said all of this mine, please. So I think they'll get on it. Berry, 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 berry. Let me claim Orleans, and then just feed them to Berry. Twenty-five. Yeah, that's enough. I'll get one more tick of the improved relations though. Okay, 8th of July. And then we have a berry. So much admin points to core alien, alien Gion, at the moment. For goodness sake. There we go. So we want to get claims on Orleans and Torrain, and then just say to Barry, hey, here are some claims. Or oh, actually, I can just declare war, take the province, and then, then just gift them to Barry. And then do the same with Maine and Anjou as well, while we're at it. And then we need to vassalize France, which is down to four provinces, so that should be possible on the next war. They're going to fucking despise me. Actually, a better idea, better idea, better idea, better idea, is I can't provoke their cause on the Francian provinces, so never mind. Yeah, we'll just force vassalize them. <laughs> We'll just have to make do with the massive relation hit. I have to wait until 1547 before I can actually declare on Orleans. I can not quite vassal them right now. So many rebels everywhere. Is that a lack of tolerance? Or is it separatism? Or is it quite a few things? 
probably quite a few things. I've almost um, integrated Holland. That will give me some heavy boost to trade power in the English Channel. I would like to state Brittany, and well, that's going to cost a fuck ton of admin points. Where were you inaugurated, my friend? 15, 20. Six years and I can abdicate to a 5, 5, 3. Which would not be a bad decision, I think. There. We have a Holland. Before they inevitably rise up against me, let's make Dutch culture accepted. there, more tax, and the four to Renault. The army must grow, even larger. At least I can get Diplo support again. And mill support. No, I don't fit there, uh, fuck it, we'll get it anyway. This guy instead of the other guy. There we go. Uh, Fifteen five two. I think we might need a few more cannons, to be honest. in the realm. For a while. Oh yeah, that lasts my colonial range of ones if I wait. For the tech first. And then we can colonize. God damn it, not again. <laughs> Uh, vanity. Oh, we're standing in vanity. How convenient! Kill them. I don't know when 25th year of this religious tolerance thing is going to pass. Yeah, it's not going to tell me, is it? I have no idea when it started. <laughs> Great. Oh yeah, I forgot Gellera. Okay, Austria somehow resurged. Quite dramatically by the look of it. Although they might unresurge because that's one hell of a coalition that might form. Because they've allied Poland, that's going to make things difficult, isn't it? I do need to get my tech up.
<sighs> okay, well, I guess we're sitting back and relaxing for a bit because my expansion has been stopped quite thoroughly in its tracks. Except maybe with, against Savoy, allied with Austria, interestingly. That could be a way to deal with, deal with that Poland problem. Yes, we can continue our exploration. Marvellous. Truly a marvellous. the coalition map maybe I shouldn't be expanding for a bit. That could lead to me and getting killed. Yeah, let's just chill for a bit. No need to rush. No need to rush at all. Oh, uh, bump the microphone again. I get more money now. I lowered the forts. Yep. All right. What can we do with that money? Could build some many factories. Could boost our trade power. In some places could actually buff the centers of trade themselves. Uh, we have Amsterdam as well. Might as well. Oh, and Aquitaine. And Finistre. Um, and Finistre. I ain't earning an English channel now. I don't only have 15% of the trade power. It's because of the other Dutch nations in the area, isn't it? I have to annex them too. Just annex everyone. Conquer everything! Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I should be able to reach Africa now. Just. Once we have a colonist. more so I think that we were going to be fine for a while just when I think we are going to be fine for a while we need better than more admin points anyway so might as well get some Keep up on that technology. I can't do that until 38. Here you go, clergy, have some land. I did give that to clergy, didn't I? Yes, I did. The influence didn't even really move. So I can go to the clergy as well. Oh, well, I guess I just forgot. I forgot to pick the right part of the event. God damn it. 
<laughs> oh well. Nice bit of peace time for a while. Even though Alvinia is getting claims for me. <laughs> Maybe wondering if I should just uh, use those claims. Still, quite a few provinces in the low countries that we still need. We. Like I said, I could use some more cannon. Production efficiency. Parliament. But production efficiency. More money! If you didn't have as many allies as you did, I definitely would consider attacking you. Either Hungary or Poland will help them. Hmm, but at the same time, Savoy has land. That could be mine. It would be nice if it was mine. Vassal France or else. I'm gonna do that in the next war. Like, I, the last war was to get them small enough that I could forcefully vassalize them. <laughs> I need to wait until 47 before I can finish them off. I could wipe them off the map and then return one province to them and then attack them again and vassal them. Just so that they don't have the huge negative opinion of me. Because that will take quite a long time to go away. <laughs> Let's wait until these rebels rise up and then I might consider declaring war on Savoy. It's my force limit anyway. 60. Well, that's perfect. I can make two 30Ks. And we're getting 10 ducats per month, so 8 cannons is... Okay, 4... Hang on. No. Hang on. 3 cannons each. For now. 3 more cannons for each army. Just for now. And I still don't have enough Diplo points for the next... Um, exploration idea yet. But we do now have money to get more cannons. Their 5k is not going to make the difference. <sighs> True, but it might get certain rivals to start supporting their independence, that's the problem. It 
is the flag they have there. You know, that shouldn't be too difficult. At least hopefully it shouldn't be too difficult. Hopefully that end of religious turmoil will happen to me soon. Did they say that they finished the exploration? Oh, they ran out of places. <laughs> My brain just just like wait a minute. I haven't done that in a while. <laughs> I haven't asked for money from them for a while. I could totally do that. And yes, I know I've got this basically shouting at me to call this stuff, but no, not yet. <laughs> Does it still... Legacy of Breton Independence. Yep, still there. Okay. Be nice if these fellows just fecked off. Okay. Uh, regardless. Alright, so Savoy, who are you allied to again? Ostia, Genoa. Both of them are going to help you. Lyonne, Savoy. Those are the two promises that we ideally want, and I'll probably give them both to Alvinia. Because I don't have the admin points right now. Spare. To call them. Just rise up. Rise up, I beg of you. Uh, fuck it. Raise the forts. Raise the forts. Prepare for war. They're going to rise up now. Just watch. 90%. Okay. Maybe not. Anyway. Savoy. How are you, Savoy, my friends? Um, I would like some of your land, if you don't mind. Might be a, you know, not a request. Might be more of a demand. Come, my vassals. Come forth and swarm the enemy. colonists now, can't we? And tech. Okay. I do like plus 20 global settler increase, but we don't really have anyone to help right now. I can get a few. Alright, down to be a father. Let's just get free men here. They're natives, they're not going to be much of an issue. could just send those men down there just to murder the natives. Like, this is weird. I think it's France helping me. <laughs> it's just because Berry has a very similar flag. Is it Berry that has that flag? 
Yes, it is. Yeah, maybe you should wait until this army is finished. In Savoy. I think I have some transport somewhere. Yep, we do. You send them down to Beafada. My good fleet. The Sao declared war upon Trier. They cite conquests of the Casas Belay. Okay. Good just yet, or should we wait until we have Savoy's capital? Okay, my vassals are dying. <laughs> nope, there's no way I'm gonna get there in, in time, is there? Just land. Still core. Cool. That is some nice land, to be fair. Costs so much because it was Britain. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, on to Austria. And to a bit of annulment of their alliances. <sighs> um Where's Bayern? I'm not too sure where that one is. Oh, it's all the way down here. You know what? They can just. Well, for now. Please, villagers, turmoil, just go away. We're being so tolerant. Why can't you just be gone? Dauphinese um, separatists. Interesting. Let's see. One, two. Let's try that again. Send the guy with a good amount of siege into the Vienna. Well, oh, that's where their armies go every single time. <laughs> Why do they always just charge up to the low countries for some reason? Oh, we're rivals of Austria again, are we? Oh no, they're just rivals of me. Where is it? Just leave Hungary to the Ottomans, why not? Aha! Glorious! It's over. No longer have to worry about those events. Oh, we're gonna 
most of it, okay. I was wondering what would happen if I tried to get Genoa to transfer their trade power to me. Well, that stability was nice to have for a while, but two is fine. I suppose I can start fully coring Brittany. Just gonna leave Hungary to the Ottomans, I guess. here and deal with their army. My vassal helps me. I might not need my vassal to help me. Holy shit. We out morale them quite significantly. No. Them taking the fort may have just fecked up the pathing there a bit. And Captain Pascal Bourgon Montaillou is dead. That was a quite a name. We don't really need military power right now, so we got a fairly cheap guy there. on these two provinces to give to Berry when I need to. I think Genoa still doesn't want peace, do they? Nope. Right, can I get Lyonne and Savoy? Probably not, but it's worth a try. I mean, I can, but can I get it without being coalitioned? To death. Somebody just left me. I think it was a military leader. Oh no. Was he a good one? He probably was a good one. The clergy has so little influence. Hang on. Look, clergy, clergy. Before I press that button, do they have a... they do not. Clergy. The bourgeoisie can have that. Clergy can have Armagnac. 
Oh, decline of the clergy. <laughs> Alright, fair enough. It's not actually as bad as it looks then. I can still give... If I need to give all of the things that trade centers to the bourgeoisie. isn't it? Yes it is. Okay. Well that's a pretty fucking good general for 1541. It's all of this war I've been in. It's giving us so much army tradition. the weather. Uh, very, very fucking windy. There's a bit of a storm. Well, I don't really care about football, so I didn't care. <laughs> I was just like, yeah. Bit windy. Bit fucking windy, isn't it? Yeah. What did you do to pull France? Uh, tore them to pieces. Okay, we're not taking both of these then. Leon A will do for now. A is just a number. Yeah, but that's a really big number. Yeah, I'm not taking on all of that. Eh, yeah, half tempted to release more for that, but never mind. There we go. Yeah, most, but most of the big ones will still be there, like Venice and the Pope and England, etc. those guys finally decided to rise up while I was out while I wasn't standing anywhere near the province uh, no <laughs> I could abdicate to a 553, which is not bad. <laughs> oh, he's reformed. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, do it. Beyond the 553. Did my other general just get murdered by the rebels? <laughs> like admin support. <sighs> and I need it. There, finally, the last province. I don't want to draw this guy because I don't want him to die. <laughs> okay. Another. So many vessels. Yes, we have quite a few at the moment. I mean, 
I am half take tempted to take Vivare. Might as well. It's only one province, what could go wrong? Give that to Alvinia as well. England is now considered a great power. Who did I knock off the- this is one of the most bizarre great powers list I've ever seen. <laughs> like just France isn't there. <laughs> That's attrition. Yeah, there's gonna be attrition. Quite a lot of attrition. We only vivere. It's fine. How much attrition are you actually taking? Okay, quite a lot. Wait, hang on. Leave the cannons. There we go. So how's that colony going? I knew I forgot something. Mali. do have trade company provinces here, which I could use. Aeon Provence, I just need Alvinia. <laughs> no, wait, no, box. Oh well. All we need is Alvinia. I accidentally influenced Nation because I was pressing enter as it appeared. <laughs> Enjoy Vivere. Great power actions. Heck. Oh well. So not as much as all the all end, because I released them too, 1547. That's the same with France. Who is very much in vassalizing dis is in vassalizing distance right now. And that will be one of the nations that we need to make a subject um made a subject. The other one, Austria, has uh resurged a bit. When I may have may have basically killed Bohemia. <laughs> Do it translation, I kind of left them to die. <laughs> I might need some more transports if I want to go and take some of Mali's land for trade company re reasons. Because I would like to get as much of the trade power in the Ivory Coast as I can so I can funnel it all to Bordeaux. <laughs> And then just stick my trade, um, my main trading port here, and then all will be good. Now I'm gonna need a claim on France before I declare war, of course. Oh my god, look how many separatists I have. <laughs> Different ones, that is. Because my ruler is the wrong religion, but he's so good. Increasing the legitimacy might help a bit, and we have tons of ad military power, so might as well. And you just love it when you're thinking you're about to do something and then your brain just forgets. 
Oh yeah, I want to see how much development I have and see how close I am to being able to make become an empire. Six hundred and fifty-two. Still a way away. Before I can just make all French cultures fully accepted. Hmm. I can definitely boost that chance of inheriting by getting ivory trade. Or I could just start annexing them. Either one would work. Same with Brabant. Lose two stability, gain ten legitimacy, and Charles becomes Protestant. We've got unrest in our pro Protestant provinces, and some we've just got unrest all over the damn place, haven't we? Didn't I force convert Provence? Why do you still have that center of reformation? Yeah. Lovely. Goodbye, stability. It was nice knowing you. It's going to take time at the moment, isn't it? Yeah, let's build some buildings. Boost that trade power! Boost it all the way! That's why I choose France then, it's not much longer, is it? Nope, just three years. Magic two. Two and a bit. One thing. I could actually just go down here and take the stuff from Mali. Mali's coast. More trade company power. And well, it is Mali. They're not going to be very strong, are they? We probably barely have any men. Let's have a look. Mali has 19,000, but they also have tech 9. We have tech 12. Okay, they're not, not like miles behind, and they have a few allies. One of them is quite big because I can see them. Eh, let's get. Let's just send our free star general down there and that'll probably be enough. It'll take a few trips, but... Trade company power. Well, buffed trade company for more trade power so that we can get a, another merchant so that we can transfer the trade over to Bordeaux and then we can get tons of money from that trade in Bordeaux. It'll be great. So anyway, how much does it actually cost to move this? A lot of Diplo points, which... I'd rather spend on um, ideas at the moment. Actually, what would be better? Uh, autonomy is not that great. Yeah, that is going to take a few trips, isn't it? Actually, hang on, come back, come back. Those heavy ships are going to just slow you down. There. Let's just speed them up a bit.
Ah, uh, yes, the Bretons. I think now's a good time for those four more cannons that I said I would give the armies. Nice, peaceful time in our new kingdom of Burgundy. After I expanded quite aggressively to the west. on France. Just what I needed. Throw a few more transports in too. Why? You know, sure. Why not, sexy? Just okay. Look, my vessels will help you. <laughs> While I'm busy taking some land from the less civilized of the world. I'm sure, they, I'm sure they can handle it. Shouldn't be too hard for them. What have I done? Created something glorious. That's what I've done. Oh. 
was wondering when they were going to appear. Go and slay them. Jours Disgray. No rebels. Right, so it's you go over here for a moment. Bring George back. And then Mali. Okay, let's get some nice trade company. Property going. Actually, I don't know where their army is and I don't know how big it is, so let's keep everyone together. Uh, keep everyone kind of get together. Split them in half. It's not going to be too difficult, and plus I need to split them in half because the attrition here is going to be painful. goes down to here, doesn't it? Shouldn't be too difficult of a too much of a problem. Oh my choice of France ended. Lovely. Yep, at the same time we might as well just finish them off. three different people right now. Well, I'm in three different wars right now. Hopefully my vassals are helping out Saxony enough. Oh, shite. Uh, no, we're good. We're good. Good enough, at least. So France, your end has come as an independent state. You must join us. There, one down, one to go. And of course they probably have a 100% liberty desire. It's actually 80, but I'm surprised it wasn't 100%. relations in France. Now they have to remain our subject until I have Austria as a subject too. Unfortunately I cannot do that yet. I have to be Burgundy. For multiple reasons. Kill them. Alright, back to Mali. Okay, never mind. Birmingham made peace. holding them off despite being massively outnumbered. That's not going to last though, is it? And then far outmatch yours, Mally. Surrender. Okay. I guess they chose death. Men to the capital. Yeah, France really didn't like me doing that, did they? 
Oh, I'm sure they'll come around. It's going to take quite a few years, but I'm sure they'll come around. We have also got um, Orleans and Brittany and Provence to finish. As I'll do that while I'm slowly seeding down Mali and feed them to uh, Berry. Or maybe France if I'm feeling so kind. That would lower their anger <laughs> a bit. fort there. Okay. But Christ, it is a bit windy outside. I actually heard that with, window, with the window shut and the headphones on. Saxony. I hope you aren't going to get coalition doing that. So then I'm going to have to abandon the alliance, aren't I? <laughs> yep, colonial range. Now that we've basically secured France, we can start expanding overseas. More and more. It will be great. There's lots of gold to be had. Yeah, I'm gonna need some forts to take all of that, aren't I? Trade efficiency. Good. We can get tolerance of heretics too. Nice. And national manpower. Burgundy actually has some pretty damn good ideas. Well, mostly. Mostly. Minus one or two of them. They're pretty good. I want it, but I don't want that. I don't want Castile and England in the same coalition against me. England, you're not my rival anymore. Should we be friends? Okay, you know what? I can wait. I can wait. Let's just improve relations with them for now. French ideas. French ideas are really good too. Some of them are actually the same, I think. I think they both have morale of armies and discipline. <sighs> Mali. Here, and then we go here, and then we go here, and then we go here, and then we do this, this, and never mind. Then we go here, and then here. And then I question why the unrest is so high. Yeah, I don't know. Might be a little legitimacy. Just keep waiting, I can not end up with England and Castile. Then it's gonna be a lot of waiting though. Because I just force vassalized France, they're probably not too happy.
Yeah, you're just gonna have to hang around there for a bit, aren't you? I need as much trade power here as I can get. Did they just insult me while I had them fully occupied? <laughs> There's not much you can really do there, Orleans. Relations with Castile, pointless. No. Austria has announced me as their rival. Austria just got a bit bigger. Okay. And I need to make Austria a subject somehow. I suppose I can just shrink the hell out of them. May your sky be filled with comets. <laughs> Fucking outraged! <laughs> I'm not just gonna let you get away with that one, Austria. Oh, apparently I am, because we still have a truce. Okay, there is two Fulani culture. Austria is a lot easier to kill because England has a royal name. England has a really fucking good navy. <laughs> like, I can't get to them at the moment. That If I try to, their ships are just going to show up and obliterate me. I need to wait until there's an opportunity where I can actually do it. Without much risk of getting annihilated by their fleet. And I, have, and I don't need to take any of England for an achievement, so... No rush. England, could you just not get that aggressive expansion? No printing press. I already know what I'm playing next game. Uh, we do still need trade power here. Oh, I can explore. Wait a minute, we can get um, Setter increase up, can't we? Yes, we can. Nothing to be had here yet. Oh, my choice of Austria ended. How convenient. Yeah, I know Orleans, but give me a moment. <laughs> I don't want England in the coalition. I can handle the rest, but England on top of it? Probably not. And Castile. Uh, Castile. Problem is Castile. Castile is the big problem in this. I still don't need need to make peace immediately. I can I can wait. We can wait. We can just wait nice and patiently. Why is declaring war on Switzerland? What the hell happened to Switzerland? <laughs> oh, Austria happened to Switzerland, didn't they? Oh, Austria. I'm afraid I'm going to have to destroy you. Hmm. Oh, hello, Britain. I see they formed. It's not England anymore. 
Uh, let's risk it. And now, berry. And terrain. There you go. Okay. Everything seems okay. We can relax and. Uh, never mind. Oh, I still have a truce. God damn it. Okay, hang on, hang on. Oh yeah, France still has calls there, don't they? I don't have enough men. Hmm. Because steel is the big problem in a coalition. So let's hold on a moment. That 30k we have could use four more cannons. Yeah, let's add some more. One, two. That was the wrong one. One, two, three, four. That might deter them. Plus all my vassals, that is quite a few men. Yep, there, here, here comes a coalition. <laughs> At least Britain isn't in that coalition. Castile paid all foreign debt to Zavoy. Oh, how kind of them. Yeah, maybe we should just stop expanding around this area for a while. <laughs> Otherwise we're probably going to get murdered. Like, rather brutally. Hey, does anyone want to be in, a, in an alliance? Oh my goodness. What the hell happened here? Poland? Doing well? Kind of. I'm tempted to ally the Commonwealth right now. Just to keep me relatively safe for a moment. Yeah, let's just keep ourselves a bit more protected for a bit. I'm not going to royal marry them, I'm just going to ally them. It's basically a defensive alliance. Hmm, Portugal's already making their way around. The Ivory Coast is what we really need full control over though. Everything else is just kind of whatever. Oh no, the game crash. <laughs> why is it when I why is it when I get really good rulers, they never live to fifty, and when they don't live to fifty, the game crashes. Every time, without fail. I don't get it. <sighs> Why is it being called Burgundy back up there? Oh, whatever. I don't know. Okay. So now where were we? Getting two offers of royal marriage from the Commonwealth, that's where we were.
do 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 let's see so who should we integrate next well probably more of the ones up here because they actually have good trade centers and that sort of thing don't they Brabant you are next to be integrated expansion into the HRE right now would be slightly suicidal in a coalition sort of sense. Both the centers of reformation for reformed appeared in France. <laughs> because why not, I guess? One of them appeared in Switzerland, which is pretty close, but still. I guess it just wanted to annoy me a bit. You chill. Military um, development, more manpower. There we go. <laughs> Brain dot exe crashed again. We must expand greatly. Need to secure the Ivory Coast as best I can. Oh yeah. Oh, in the coalition against Burgundy. God damn it. Is it the second I start drilling, some rebels appear. Like every time. Yeah. So Savoy has ended, but again, coalition, let's not take anything else for a while. Let's just remain peaceful for a bit. Increase our income, colonize some stuff, all that good stuff. Inflation is on the is going down more and more. Everything is looking quite lovely. And if I can just get enough development to become an empire, I can gain a cultural union of all the French cultures. Which is quite a lot of the land that we have. <laughs> Culture converting everything is just a little bit too expensive, in my opinion. France is not a fan right now, are they? I'd probably make them a fan. There, France, are you happy now? No? What about now?
the outraged attitude is probably going to stick around for a bit. That's the only issue. At least they're not above 50% liberty design. Can't be using that for a while. Cut. That's getting dangerously influential. <laughs> Hang on a moment. We should be okay. Just as long as I don't get any more influence, I should be very careful where I develop. Wait, if I see clergy here, just not doing it. I guess my explorer died, didn't he? Yeah, let's just not fight anyone for a bit. Let's stay nice and peaceful. Otherwise I'm going to get murdered by most of the HRE. Which in all honesty is not going to be a fun time. <laughs> To no. no war. No war for a bit. We need to stay peaceful for a little while. <laughs> My brain's just like, kill them. Take more land. You must. For the glory of the Empire. At least Spain has left the military coalition. Actually, quite a few people have. Lovely. on the throne, one way or another. Oh, the king is now benevolent. Excellent. France is getting more and more okay with me. Eventually they're not going to be outraged. Colonize stuff. Hmm. Lots of waiting. Probably gonna be here. Utrecht wants military access. Sure, Utrecht. I'm okay with that.
<sighs> oh yeah, good we trade for that one. Oh goodness. Hmm. Sorry. Okay, Britain is starting to get a lot of the trade power in this node. Oh, for fuck's sake. And he's dead. And he's been replaced with someone better. Okay. Two on his admin is not the best, but the rest is pretty good. Oh yeah, printing friends have spawned somewhere, haven't it? That would be a pretty right time to develop our capital area. Even more. Get printing press here a little bit faster. I think we have plenty of time until the next tech, so au revoir. And shall we have some development? And you know what, Nivene can have some too. And I'll just throw an advancement effort in there. Seven percent chance to inherit Brabant, and a eight percent chance to it, three percent chance to inherit Flanders. <laughs> Forget the missionaries; it's not really doing anything for me now. Tolerance of heretics. That should murder all unrest that was going on in the France area. There, lower unrest even further. Two more, and we can get um, all of our ideas done. That should really increase my money with those goods produced. Now let me claim Yolof and get that last province for the trade company. Nice peace right now. Very peaceful. Still wondering if I want to try and take Spain on with now allied Savoy. Maybe not just yet.
let's just develop around this area again. A little. And the nice farmlands. With their reduced development cost. You may ask for something. It, you may ask something, sorry. Where did Printy Press even appear? Oh, Frankfurt. They're actually getting out fairly quickly. Kind of. Yeah, AE is a problem in North Italy because it's so well developed. Trade company, can I? Um, if said vessel has cores, it's a lot better because that lowers aggressive expansion. Like right now in this game, Milan is quite a good one to vassalize for me if I could, which I can't because they have like cores everywhere. The thing is, um, if you just feed them any land that um, isn't a core, you get the same amount of aggressive expansion, so it doesn't really make much difference. However, one thing that does make a difference, instead of taking land directly from whoever you're fighting, if you forcefully vassalize them, it does a bit less aggressive expansion. That is one thing you can do, but that can just end up with you having like 10 vassals, which can get a bit out of hand. Needless to say. Let's start integrating Brabant. Now we get a little bit more land from Africa, just one province. Still, something. Eventually got it. Where are my transport? Oh, they're up there. Now we're gonna stay burgundy. For the hell of it. Because I kind of have to for the achievement. I think it's saying as burgundy. As burgundy. So you have to be burgundy. France has to be a subject. Austria has to be a subject. Everything in the Low Country region has to be mine and a core. So yeah, we're going to have to be Burgundy for quite a long time, basically. Especially considering I've got this level of Austria to deal with, even though I tried to weaken them and they still somehow came back. Who's Emperor right now? Oh, it's still Austria. I wasn't really expecting that, to be honest. Um, they can be a subject. Either one works. But they don't like me very much, and my luck with unions is what can only be described as abysmal, so best to just do it by force. IMO. Like, I will Royal Mary a 60-year-old ruler with no heir, and then they'll suddenly get an heir. It's happened every single time I've tried to do it in this campaign so, so far. So hey, military might work for me.
Yeah, that's all we want. And Mally. Don't actually need anything from you, just give me as much money as you can. Better way to decrease AE. Um. Hmm. Uh, if you improve relations with nations that might join the coalition, it can get them to not do it if it, if you if they like you enough. So if you basically keep um, improving relations with everybody nearby, just send your diplomats out just left and right. That can reduce a a bit. They need a pretty positive opinion of you though. The only other way I can think of is wait. Just wait for it to go away, but that can be a bit frustrating. But right now I am waiting for most of it to go away here because I may have expanded quite heavily and gotten Spain a bit upset. Oh yeah, trade company investments are a thing, aren't they? So what trade power do I have here now? 30%. We need more. We need all of it. I need the entire every coast just locked down. Then I can funnel it all to France. Do you know of Rome and Milan? Yeah. That, yeah. Those... If you're going to try and take the really developed provinces, it's going to cause aggressive expansion. <laughs> like, a lot of it. But again, just improving relations with the other nations around you. Uh, there is an idea which reduces it. But I think that's an espionage, so don't bother. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that used to be an influence somewhere. I might be remembering it wrong, but I'm pretty sure that used to be an influence. and Diplo also have it. It was this one I was specifically talking about, but I'm pretty sure that was just an influence at one point. Or maybe it was in Diplo before. I don't know. I don't know for sure. <sighs> yes, Platinate. Okay. Okay, Mali wants peace now. I don't need your provinces yet, so feel free to just give us money. And at Yalof, we only need all of your land. Okay, I guess they're not going to give it to me because their army is still running around somewhere. There we go. And boost trade. Boost trade even more. Yeah, I can transfer it up to Bordeaux now. Don't know how long that merchant is going to stick there, but... I'll keep improving the trade power in the region just so I can funnel all of the trade over to Bordeaux. Yep, towards Bordeaux. Marvellous. Which means I actually am going to want to switch this around a bit. Hang on. Does it really matter which 
Does that actually buff anything? I'm not actually sure. Hang on. Ah, uh, yeah. Doesn't really matter. You know, just throw it into Phineas today. And then I'm Bordeaux. Switch over to here. And money. Sweet, glorious money. I don't know how Lorraine has so much trade power. Oh, whatever. Anyway, Provence, Brittany. We've been sitting there being unconquered for a while now. Let me fix that. Oh yeah, France is the cause there still, don't they? Oh no, just in name. We could just give it to France. Or I could just give it to, um, Berry, over one. Although France hates me, so probably not a good idea to give them stuff. Surely. Sitting around Bourgogne. Spain, you fuck. <laughs> oh, I knew I was going to have to fight Spain sooner or later, wasn't I? They so wish to fight, and so be it. Not even do a reconquest of Cassus Belli, just to really rub it in their faces. How many men do you have Spain and Naples? More than I do, okay. Spain joined that war. No, they just decided to start supporting the independence of France out of nowhere. Even though I'm pretty sure France's liberty desire was really fucking low. So France is just going to sit there being rebellious for a while, I guess. Okay, maintenance is a problem. I know it will, but Spain has more men than I do. Which is a little concerning. Okay, well that's um, the last of those two provinces sorted out. I need a lot of money to embrace printing press.
Um, probably not. Anyone I ally probably likes Spain too much. Is that maybe Britain? Russia? Russia's really too far. Britain. Yeah, I didn't think so. And another coalition. I'm slightly scared, but I do have the Commonwealth as an ally, so I should be okay. Ish. Huh. 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 Interesting. <laughs> I'll just leave the Ottomans to that. Yeah, I know I can get tech. I'll just save the admin points. How much does it cost at the moment, though? For more production efficiency for a while? Faster printing press. Faster. does have more men, but do they have better men? Or do I have the better men? They aren't actually that far behind. <laughs> so yeah, I don't think I'll be able to keep up with them, especially because they have Naples as well, and Savoy. It will be a bit of a struggle at the moment. I would need more men. Why do you have to ruin everything for me? Every single campaign, Spain. And I'm definitely not declaring war on them right now because that would be madness. Let's just be calm. think any allies of Saxony will help, but Commonwealth definitely won't, but I don't think Saxony is going to be enough right now. <laughs> I mean, an extra 12k men is nice to have, but I don't think it'll be quite enough. I think I need another 30k to be added to my men. So if we can get some really good trade power on the Ivory Coast, I can definitely get enough income to do it. Spain is part of in the same dynasty as Portugal now. <laughs> Reversed Iberian Union, I guess. Hmm. 
must not accidentally give clergy more power. Give them ability some more influence though. Probably in the provinces with really high manpower. Hold up. Yeah, that's got an estuary. I'm gonna give them that. It's their job to piss you off. They've always been a pain though to me. Every campaign. It's just like Oh you want oh you want to do something? Too bad. We're around. A lot, basically. Let's go to Paris rather quickly. Spread printing press. Spread faster. Look at taking some Congolese coast because I think they have some trade centers. No, they don't. They do have an estuary, though. That will do. Can I force them? It's not good enough. <laughs> it's their lives. You may say, well, I can take a Korean state so they will not piss me off. You are wrong. They will find a way. It doesn't matter how much time I to take. Spain is just out to get me, aren't they? Still have a coalition against me. I know the Commonwealth wants a royal marriage, but I'm gonna keep my options open. France is just gonna be sitting 100% liberty desire for a while, I guess. Maybe it does have some decent land. I could annex them after Brabant. That would not be a bad idea. Who announced me as their rival? Was it Austria? It was Austria. <laughs> of course it was Austria. They are not fans of me right now. Can't say I blame them. Congo getting colonialism for oh okay the Spanish that's where they were getting it from Take a lot of money to embrace this, isn't it? 
at the moment. I need it to spread more. Go printing press. Spread. Further. money why not <sighs> oh, why did I do that I need to wait even longer I'm gonna get ready just to declare on the Congo and then take their land and their money Send some fellows down there. Okay, what do we want to claim? S yeah, Soyo because high development. Goyo because trade. Claim everything. Take the Congo. The last nation has put. No, that general was really good. Oh, I'm sad now. Make me have to pay for new advisors, please. At least it's getting cheaper because it's spreading around so fast. Mostly. There's of course the south of France, which is a bit hilly and less developed. Right. And of course they did that just after I dropped off some troops. Okay, I need to get my men back over there. <laughs> Spain declared that war. This is going to be fun. My forts weren't very raised there. Okay, just occupy, just take down the smaller nations as much as we can. You can't just instant see something that already has a garrison. That's just not fair. I need to somehow avoid the Spanish fleet. Doesn't mean they're gonna have to take one hell of a roundabout route, but. Ugh. Wait, Saxony! Saxony came to my aid! Saxony, thank you! I'm going to need all the help I can get here. <laughs> but anyway, bring it on. Why do I force them to go down? Hang on. Stop, 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 stop. Stop, 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 stop. For a moment. Where are the rest of them being built? Oh, okay.
Okay, we've got a very large amount of very angry Spanish coming our way. I need to take some really damn good battles here. And quickly get um, Liege and Lorraine sieged as much as possible. Where are those transports? We need more men. We need all of our men back here. Also, I just need to say fuck it to military tech cost. Yes, it does. Yes, it does, I think. Unless you take it at the end, maybe. Come on, take Liege. Take Liege, please. Thank you. Okay. Money can be secondary now. Right now, survival is our biggest goal. And getting my men back to Burgundy without getting sunk by the Spanish. them, whatever. No, oh, no, they're taking attrition damage. Get some mercs. I'm okay with mercs at the moment. Very well might need them. Wait, the Commonwealth came to my aid too. Yes. It's not going to be a complete and total loss. We just need to hold off the Spanish for a while. Hope that they leave so that I can slay some armies that are a bit smaller. Hang on a minute. Today. Oh boy, okay. Uh, I need good generals. I need really good generals right now. Better. That's better. Not giving me much variety here, are you? Anyway, we got a very fast general. That might be helpful for a moment. These are best. Felipe de O. De O. You have to do. Fire the other one. Where is that massive Spanish army? That's the big threat right now. Morale of armies, yes, that's what we need. I really need to take a good battle, but they're all so close together. Maybe in Lyonnais, because that's hills. Oh, I wouldn't you? No, my rest of, I need all my army together, really. <laughs> Taking out 1k is not much, but it's something. And while they're split, we can probably take out this army. Oh, they've noticed what I'm up to. Don't let them get away. but whatever just don't let them 
don't let them group up with the huge Spanish army that they have. Kill as many of them as you can. Okay, I found the huge Spanish army. It just won a battle against the Commonwealth. Vassals, please take my land back. I believe in you. I will deal with the Spanish. Uh, religion. Yeah, I can get more from religion too. I need every edge I can get right now. To take out these Spaniards. They seem to be running away, so uh, there's that. Savoy isn't in the coalition, are they? But they are fighting me, so I can separate piece Savoy if I can take them out. Spain occupy Cantor. Oh great, they're in our African territory, because of course they are. Yes, and right now I have a coalition. <laughs> So by all technicalities, you're handling a bit better than I am. Just a bit. I'm sure I've got this though, because I think I've... I think my army will be able to be better than Spain. If they declare war, AE will decrease. Let's have a look. No. <laughs> no, it won't. You just have to take them down. Yeah, they've still got high AE against me. We just need to fight right now. Try and get Savoy out of the war because that's a big chunk of men that they won't be able to call in it to any battles anymore if I can take these down. I think that's one of Spain's allies. Who's the other? Oh, there isn't another. It's just Savoy. Okay, get Savoy out. We have a better chance. Now I need to hunt down that huge Spanish army and kill it. Just hunt down any enemy army. Where is the Spanish army gone? I can see a few enemy armies dotted around, but the giant Spanish one I saw with like 62,000 men just is nowhere to be seen. Which is actually kind of spooky because I have no fucking idea where it is. Quick, take out Savoy's capital. And then maybe I can piece them out. Uh, I need to stay alive. Let's get more men. I mean, better men. Slightly more professional. Pres but the professional. <laughs> that was just a train wreck of me trying to speak there. Ooh, we got some more bodies to throw at the enemy. Isn't that lovely? Siege Savoy. Okay, can we get Savoy out of the war? We can. For a load of money as well. That should reimburse me. Partly. But Spain is going to be really reimbursing me. your army, Spain. I know it's here somewhere. And I am going to absolutely destroy it when I see it. You know what, the rest of you start working your way into uh, Spain itself. That should get their army to come out of hiding. If I'm just like, hey Spain, 
That will cause aggressive expansion. But it will give stuff back to France, and France might actually like me if I do that. You have to ask a question? Yes. What is your question? Once the war with the coalition is over, the coalition disbands. Instantly. They can't start one immediately, but another coalition could form against you, one, and then once the truce is with everyone is over, they can declare war again. If they are in the coalition. Basically, nations can't join the coalition if they have a truce with you. And you can take advantage of that quite heavily if you manage your wars correctly. Which is what I've had to do a few times, is just kind of chain war everyone around me just so I don't get coalitioned. Because I could take on each of them individually, but all at once it would have been death. Um, I think so, yeah. If they'll accept it, which they might not. Because it's a coalition war, the AI tends to try and break apart the target. I'm not sure, though. We can almost embrace printing press. We can almost smash our way into Spain. Oh, I found their army. It's a lot smaller than I remember it was. Anyway. Oh, hello Spain. How are you? France's army is going to die. I'm sorry, France. I can't help you. Spain was supporting their independence. <laughs> and they just came in and annihilated their army. Spain, you monsters. How could you do that? You were supporting their independence and then you just fucking killed them. Yeah, that's not a good idea. We'll <laughs> see how ambitious I can be there. <laughs> Yes, just, just, <laughs> you're just as bad as Spain. No <laughs> kidding. Like Spain just gave France up to me. <laughs> sort of. Like, they were supporting independence, but then they declared war, so their support of independence just stopped. <laughs> kind of happy I managed to get my army back here. The bunch that I sent off to um, Africa to try and take some Congo land, but then coalition fired. I should be able to handle it now, though. I think we've got this, plus we're actually making money at the moment. Surprisingly. With all of my forts up and over my force limit and several mercenaries, I'm still I'm actually making money. So much so, I'm actually going to just embrace the printing press right now. Savoy has disputed succession, but I know it, but one, they fucking despise me, and two, I know what happens when I roll marriage, any nation that has disputed succession, they suddenly just get an heir, like that. It's like I have some magic power just to create an heir when I royal marry somehow. Whoever the hell I'm sending over to royal marry them is, I guess, irresistible. Oh, they're confident. Oh. Because they stack wipe them instantly. It's my turn now, Spain. Take them down. I've got reinforcements on the way, but I should be I should win this battle. Well done, lads. And they've taken care of the army in the east, my allies. And subjects. Fucking marvellous. 
Alright, Spain, you wanted to rip me apart. How about I rip you apart? Let's see, what can I tear out of them? How about Nevaeh? Nevaeh? Sardinia? If there's anyone who knows the meme, I know exactly what they're about to spam because I said the word. Wait a minute, they annex Aragon. I could just take this province and release Aragon. That's not a bad idea. Then I can declare on Spain later on and feed all of Aragon's provinces back to them. Yeah, let's do that. That's the peace deal. It won't cause a um, scary coalition. Or I could just humiliate them too. If I can fully occupy them. Not sure I need the mercenaries anymore, to be honest. Or well, maybe we do, because I just I can see another 30k coming in. Let's go take them down. Forget the Pyrenees, the Pyrenees. Sorry. <laughs> if my brain just suddenly remembered how it was pronounced. Uh, no, actually, we don't want that. We want... Well, actually, because my transports are a little occupied at the moment. Yeah, we will have that. And by occupied, I mean completely and totally blockaded in. Kind of occupied. Rosillon is a mountain province, so Spain's army should get annihilated here. Unless they run away, like the cowards they are. Fine then, your other army will get annihilated. 80k death stack, go! Nope, they can't get very far too. Prepare to die, Spain. Oh, that felt pretty good. <laughs> Spain has lost 155,000 troops in total. So Spain, now that I've gotten... Nope, we're still not giving up, are we? Alright then, well more of your armies are going to die. I'm totally fine with killing more of them. If you wish to send them to die, I'll just slay them. One after another. I've still got manpower, I've still got a bit of money. I can keep this going. Can I go here? Yep, I can. Yep, take positions. It's in a hill, so we have a massive advantage here, and go. Yes! Spain! You were fools to challenge me! Let's just run straight across the river and kill them. We outnumber them two to one, and we seem to be able to wreck their armies no problem. Yep, we're winning. Jesus Christ! I just... hang on. Hold up. Stop everything. Spain had at least 90,000 men before this war started. Now they have... 10 times less. Nice. <laughs> and we just gained a general with 50 tradition from, all, from that, and he's... not very good. Get him out of here. <laughs> Alright, Spain, are you willing to make peace for all of this? No, I guess we're keep guess we're gonna keep this war going then, aren't we? How many more of your men do you want me to kill? <laughs> if you want to keep fighting, then I will keep slaying. I have no qualms. There we go. Now you'll make peace. Wise decision, Spain. And they've been humiliated. <laughs> Glorious. Glory to Bogon. Viva de Bogon. Anyway. 
We also want to make Aragon a new subject. There we go. And France just got some of the land back. And who was being... I better not been you, France. I swear to fucking God. After that. <laughs> if Spain were just like, lol, support independence again, I would have been quite upset. Okay, mercenaries not needed anymore. Mercenaries not needed anymore. Okay. The coalition has been put down quite thoroughly. The nation of Dauphine has appeared and I could vassalize them, but that's a lot of diplo relation slots. Oh god, okay. <sighs> I was quite focused there because <laughs> I was quite heavily outnumbered. And if Spain decided to actually keep their army together, they might have had me. Thankfully, they decided against keeping their army together for whatever reason. So we're alright. Other than the war exhaustion, we're okay. Everything is fine. I might need to reduce war exhaustion a bit, but it should go down on its own. Slowly. And hey, France actually likes me now. Kind of. There. France is happy to be my vassal now. Because I gave them some of their land back. I wasn't necessarily holding that land, but I gave it back. That's what matters. Okay. 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 Let's check out if we have an English channel now. 17%, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Pirates from Spain and Denmark have loads of it. Probably because they were both rival to me. Oh yeah, and the Netherlands is also a stateable place. Which I will be happy to take the rest of the land of. Again though, I've still got that coalition that I would need to worry about. We have achieved a great victory today against the Spanish. And now Congo. Uh, let's get some more claims. We'll get one more and longer. Hmm. Of course, you get you make the you, you make the Dutch, you let them be an accepted culture, and they still rise up. <laughs> I could kill them, which will probably end up with the Netherlands declaring independence, or I can let them have some autonomy for a bit. And it's only an eleven development province, so I'm okay. Have some autonomy, it's fine. And now the rest of the provinces are probably going to start being all like Viva la Revolution. Because even though I'm not France, I'm still a French nation, so Revolu Revolution. Full Revolution. some Congolese land. Specifically, their entire coast. Okay, we can go into peace again. 
Had a pretty big war there, but everything's nice and peaceful again now. Nothing could ever disturb that peace, right? Rebels. <laughs> Uh, no, I was looking at the buildings, wasn't I? Yeah, actually... I have only just looked at the time because I was so focused on that war. <laughs> it's actually time to end the stream, I just noticed. And I think ending it with a successful defense against a coalition war is pretty good. <laughs> ah. Next, um, holy shit, I have not been looking at Austria for a while. Austria. You can't just attack Bavaria like that, aren't you, Holy Roman Emperor? Aren't you supposed to be representing the Empire and not killing it? Well, then again, the Empire's seen better days. I'll kill you soon, Austria. Don't worry. Maybe I'll try and vassalize Bavaria. No, I don't think I'll be able to. Even if distance between borders was not a thing, I don't think I would be able to. Not quite. With enough Diplo rep, I might, but eh, not really. But yeah, I think that will do for today, to be honest. Next, EU4 stream. There's actually quite a few things we can do. We need more of the low countries. We need Austria as a vassal. Spain is open for conquest. We can continue expanding all the way around here overseas just to get trade companies all over the damn place. Funnel all of the trade over to Bordeaux. We need to annex Berry. France needs to stay a vassal for a while until we have Austria as a vassal and all of the low countries. But we'll just see how all of that goes. But for now, I must wish you all a good night for today. But thank you all for coming along once again. This is actually going quite well. It's much better than the last one. Where I tried to become Holy Roman Emperor and it went really badly. But yeah, good night for now, lads. <laughs>